Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you a few cars, or three cars, I shouldn't say a few, but three cars uh, featuring the Artfully Layered Bundle, which is part of the Artfully Composed Suite, um, which if you don't know which one it is, it's on page 32, as you can see here. I just love all the colors, the paper is just amazing, you're going to see it. Um, there's one side that has lots of uh, like a busier uh, pattern and then the other side is more uh, more like uh, subtle patterns if you will like monochromatics um, or two colors like you can see on this one and so it just makes it so easy to play with so um, definitely you're gonna love it. So anyway, so hi everyone. So um, as usual, we're just gonna go over a few announcements because there's a lot of things going on. And so definitely <laughs> wanna take a few minutes for that. And um, let me just go here. And so let me just see. Oh, hi Kate, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Hi Donna, uh, hi Don, hi Pat. <laughs> let me see. Um, Doris, hi, how are you? Um, let me see. Let me see how, who else is here. Oh, Jewel, you're here. Sharon, Gloria. Okay, so nice seeing you all. I really uh, love seeing all your faces here. <laughs> Rhonda, <laughs> hi, how are you? And Betsy, I see you there too. And Jody. So anyway, so thank you, thank you. So like I said, too many things going on. First things as always, just reminder of the future classes. Um, I love so much this week that that's my next card class so right now we have the um flowering tulips which is this one registration for this class uh ends on friday i believe so it is this friday um somehow i was thinking it was the 5th of february but the 5th is saturday and i think it's the friday rather than the saturday so but anyway you should be getting emails this week just for final reminders um if you are not on my mailing list and want to register for this class make sure you email me at ali at creatingwithali.com um so that you can get the registration links if you want to be on the mailing list so you get all the registration so in the description uh you can uh see um Oh my gosh, a link where it says bit.ly forward slash stay in contact with Ali. That way you are on my mailing list and you get information about the classes. So this one um, is the one that is closing this week. The next one is using, is using the Artfully Composed and you're going to see how cool all these cards look. Like I said, the paper is just amazing. Um, this one is a foam fold. And I just love how it looks. Same with this one. It's a foam fold using designer series paper. So super, super excited. And here is the next one. So um, so stay tuned because next week you'll get the email for that class. And, um, and then I'm also going to be releasing a stamp camp. Now, the stamp camp is going to be for March, but I'm going to be opening registrations um, next week. I was playing with the Blessings of Home um, suite or a collection, I should say, and I just went crazy. So let me just show you all the things here. So we're gonna have nine projects and I'm sure you're gonna love them all. Hold on, let me just, here. I'm trying to put them all so that you can see them. Well, I don't know that you can see it really well, but it's nine projects and it's using the blessings of home. And so it's a STEM camp. And it's gonna be in March. So I'll be sending also information for that um, registration for that class. And also there's going to be an additional optional class that features the paper from the Blessings of Home with the Friends of the Forest. This is another phone fold that I'm sure you're gonna love. Uh, same with this one, there's another phone fold. And then another cute card. So anyway, I am very excited with this. Like I said, I was playing so much with that um, that I couldn't resist. So that's going to be also coming up next week, um, opening registration for that one. And then the last thing that we have going on is the card club. And so card club for February features the Daffodil uh, Daydream, which is this one. And it's a um, card holder, if you will. And then it, it has five cards. So uh, let me just show you here. It has the cards and the envelopes. So I know you're gonna be uh, loving making all these cards. And let me just show you this one. And the last day to register for this class is on um, the 7th. So this one is on Sunday. So it's uh, from the 
um, anytime between now and the 7th, you get the February kit. And then if you sign up after the 7th, I should put it this way, uh, then you get the March Card Club. And I show you here the sneak peek for that one because I'm super excited. I just finished also designing that one. Uh, but I know you're going to love this. Now, this one, um, the stamp set on this one has Easter and Mother's Day. I decided to do all of them as Eastern for myself. But of course, you can customize that to anything you want. Um, and like I said, the stamp set itself has Mother's Day and Easter. So anyway, so Card Club, if you don't know what it is, it's a subscription box where you get about $20 worth of products, the card kit, the video tutorials, um, the PDF, and everything to make your kit every month. Um, it is $39. And when you have six months, consecu consecutive six months, you'll get an additional goodie back of $25. Now I'm super excited. Um, and I, I, I just love that program. So if you're interested on that one, you can go at creatingwithali.com forward slash card club and read more information about it and also subscribe there. Um, so there's also in the descriptions um, a link for that. So you just look for it. And then for March, of course, like I said, I was playing with the blessings of home. And so I decided to go with the blessings of home. And I also have some foam folds here. And I just, I just love them all. I just went crazy with this one. Um, here, this is different from fall, but it's also from fall. So anyway, so that's your March. That's the sneak peek of the March um, card club. And so you can subscribe for that one beginning February 8th, all the way through March 7th. So just pay attention to that. If you want to get the one for February for the daffodils, make sure you sign up by this Sunday. So by the 7th. If you sign up the 8th, you're going to go and get the, the ones featuring the blessings of home. So that's um, that's about classes. The last thing, of course, is the incentives I have going on. So as you know, I have the celebration celebration event. So anyone who's placing orders during celebration with me that reach 150 and it could be in one order, two orders, three orders, multiple orders. Um, do you get, um, do you earn that uh, free event? There's going to be five card projects. It's free. You can only earn it. Um, but also I have, um, so make sure you, you plan for that, right? So before I continue, the event is going to be on March 27. So far I have 11 people on that uh, event. So super excited. And um, I know you're going to love it. Now, I've been emailing a few of you that I've seen you are closer, mainly because I want to make sure you know you're so close, you still have all February. So definitely uh, just want to make sure you know. So anyway, and on top of that, or any orders between now oh, and end of February, $35 or more, you get, of course, the card kit from the Facebook Live, but also you get the, um, what is this, the Rainbows of Happiness, um, tutorial bundle right and I am mailing this one like once a week so I think I need to be sending today or tomorrow the ones from last week so if you haven't seen it you're gonna see it here in the next day or so and then um, if your orders are a hundred dollars then you also get the tutorial bundle from the celebration featuring the celebration sets um, or paper and so um, if you want to see the cards from that tutorial bundle from this celebration one, it is this one. I am in love with all of the different cards. Uh, and like I said, it features the different, either the paper or the set um, or both. So definitely, I know you're going to love it. And so um, it's a way for you to kind of be reaching the different tiers until you get that celebration, uh, celebration event that I said it's free. So anyway, um, so that's that if you have any questions let me know let me start flipping the camera so that we can just go over a few things here hold on hold on and so let me just take all of these things here uh, all right so let's go here and then we also have a new product being released before i change that is called the all together right i don't know if you've seen it let me flip the camera so that you can see all the product oh hi mary thank you so much for um sharing i really appreciate it it always helps me a lot let me turn on the lights here hopefully that's much better and so um let me start moving things here yep 
All right, so like I said, we have now the all together um, collection of products, I should call it. And so one of the things that they come, of course, let me just show this page. I think it will be easier. Uh, well, you can see it here. It has a stamp set, a paper pack, the dice, and then you can see we have new uh, stamping lens that are really good for like a skin, um, color, uh, coloring a skin, right? Uh, for your uh, for all your images and so of course they go really well with the designer series paper So I wanted to do this one for this week, but I'll be honest I ran out of time and so I couldn't design it for this week, but in February you're gonna see me using these um, So this whole collection goes from February 1 through May uh, 2nd um, the paper the dies and the uh, what is this called the stamp set these are only available uh, while supplies last. So once they run out, they run out. The uh, blends, which you can see, I just love them. The blends are going to be with us in the new annual catalog, which is going to be released in May. So definitely um, I'm excited about those because, you know, we have lots of different images that we could be coloring. Um, but if you really like this one, right, and the dye sets you matter, and what was the other was here for you that's what it says on this one um but the dice are really good and like i said you can be coloring those using the the blends and so yeah i'm sure you're gonna love it and i think the sentiments are just the best i think that these are very uh uplifting and um i think that everyone in your life would love to get a card with this one and then from the paper side uh, one of the things that I love is that you have one section where you can be coloring. So uh, you can even just go paper and the blends if you want just to be coloring. There's, dif uh, there's different patterns. And also the other thing is that one side is white and um, the other there are some others that are black. So I think it's really cool. I think that even just having a black and white paper is amazing for cards because you can pair it with any other bright color and they always look amazing. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, just want to make sure you knew about it. And there is, of course, a um, code to get the whole collection so that you don't have to go uh, number by number or item by item. And so that one is $1609.41. It's $105, but you get the whole thing. Or you can um, pick and choose the different items that you want. And I'll mail this one tomorrow when I mail um, the projects from today. I'll mail you uh, this PDF so you had all the information as well. All right. So that's it uh, from that end. Of course, we still have celebration going on. So anytime you spend $30 or $50, so she said not 30, but $50, you get a free item from this uh, catalog. Um, there's a couple of items that are $100 and there's no limits. Every $50, you get an item for free, right? Like the papers and the stamp sets. So there's definitely lots of options here. Um, and like I said, there's only a couple that are $100. This one is the um, Friendly Hello, and then the ones that has the sentiments is also free with 100 The rest of the catalog are uh, free with a 50 And um, the next thing here is, of course, uh, joining our team. So um, when you get the starter kit, which is $99, and you pick $125 worth of products, and you also get, in addition, two extra sets, uh, stamp sets of any value of your choice. So definitely, this is the best time to join. And if you want to be getting a discount on your crafting supplies, this is the best way to do it. Uh, you don't have to be doing this as a business, of course. Um, you can just do it to get the discount, and that's totally fine. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's that. And then the final thing is hosting. If you have... If you have a, uh, a party that is $300, you also get this one for free. And it could be uh, hosting a party or gathering some friends and get uh, some orders together, or it could be your own order. Once you hit the 300, you get this stamp set for free. All right, so I think that's, um, that's all it is here. Just wanna make sure you knew, cause you know. And so, like I said, we're going to be using um, this whole suite. I just love the whole thing. I just, I don't know. The colors are just amazing. Here is the paper, and we're going to start doing the stamping. So, anyway, and like I said, when you place an order of $35 or more, 
uh, between now and February 5th using this host code, you, you'll get the cart kit of the cars that I'm sharing here. So one of the things that I do, so I'm gonna put all my things here. I'm gonna be using again the note cards. Um, and I thought I had also the envelope somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm like, I thought I have the envelope. So here it is. So the note cards are really nice. Um, this is something um, that we sell um, in a stamp that in a stamping up that comes like so. It comes with I believe it's twenty yeah twenty cards and twenty envelopes. So you get it like so. It's already pre score and it has um, 20 envelopes. They're slightly smaller, and they fit really well the mini paper pumpkin boxes. So if you wanna be doing card sets, I think that's the best, like gift card, uh, like a gift set. Um, so those are really nice. And what is really nice is that it comes with 20, uh, like 20 cards and envelopes, and it only costs $7. So I love using them more and more, because um, they just go really fast. So anyways, I'm gonna be using those. Now here, I don't know exactly which color I'm gonna be using for the sentiments. I pull all the colors that I thought will go well. But here are the pieces that I have. The die set, and where is my, like I know I have it here. Okay, I'm like, I know I have it here. I pull it out. Okay, so the die set and the stamp set, as you can see, I love that it has two big images and then you have like a filler um, or two fillers, right? That you can use to make your own uh, background. And let me just show you a sample using these. So you can see it like here, where you can use the stamp sets and then just do the fillers to make your background. Kind of like doing your own designer series paper. Um, so I love that about it. And then from the die set, you can die cut these and that one. And then you have some other images that could be used as embellishments, which like you see here, I have one in Calypso Coral and I have this one in Old Olive. They come from this die set. I love, I'll be honest, I love making um, these, um, let me just see here, like I cut a bunch of them. And then as I am designing, I like to take those and kind of fill them up on my um, on my cards because I feel like it goes uh, faster. Now, of course, later on, I might have some leftovers that I can be using for more cards. But um, but I love doing that because I can visualize better how my card is going to be, okay? Then I also have a circle with the uh, layering circles. And where's my ruler? And this one is about like two and a half or two and one quarter. Yeah, two and one quarter, about one, two and one quarter. And then I have this label from the Hippo and um, Hippo and Friends dies. And I use this one a lot. Um, I actually have multiples of that one. Here it is. Because I, I use them all the time. Uh, these are just great um, labels that you're gonna be using for all your designs. So, um, so I'm using that one, right? And uh, you can see here, I have another one. I haven't decided yet if I want, like I said, I cut out in multiples and then I play with it. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this one or that one, so we'll see. And then I have two pieces of the designer series paper. Now, this one is about one and a half. Yeah, one and a half by, it is three and five eighths, okay? And then I have one that is three quarters of an inch by, by four. Okay, and so we're gonna be doing that. The other thing that I cut out um, just for fun, just to see if I wanted to use them, and I know I don't know yet if I'm gonna be using them, it's the border. So I sew this, um, this die is from here, and this just goes perfect for any border. And I was thinking, well, if I do something for the sentiment, maybe I'll use one of those as decorative embellishment. Um, so I don't know yet if I'm gonna be using it. I've just cut out in several colors. I wanted to also use the Calypso, but um, somehow I forgot to cut it out. But anyway, um, so I have these ones that I may or may not use today. Um, I can show you here a car that I made using that border and it just adds a lot. Here is this one. Let me just show you this one so you can see. It's kind of like a fun fold. It opens uh, where you kind of, these ones are together, but it opens like so. But you can see that border exactly here and it just gives it a little pop on your car. And again, the paper is just really nice and look how well the sentiments go with that image, right? So anyway, so let me... Continue because I've been talking, 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 and we're not doing anything yet. <laughs> All right, so the one thing I was thinking here was stamping one of the leaves 
and I have here the leaves and hi Linda nice seeing you here all right so I was thinking probably putting like the leaf here right and then have this one here with that one oh and you know what see maybe I can use the border here see this is what I'm like this one doesn't show up as much maybe the darker one just to get it see so I like that so maybe I'll go this route see like I said so once you have them you just play with the pieces really that's all I'm doing and then have this one come here and because I have that one maybe I go with that one somewhere here right because I'll have the other one stamped and then my sentiment I'll, or I stamp something else here um oh no 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 maybe I have this one here and then the sentiment here see I'm telling you, I'm always kind of changing things around and then I'll go from there. Yeah, because I have that one. So I'll do the leaf maybe like in mint, right? Just to have that kind of lighter of the just shade. You could also use just shade and do the stamping um, off. So let's just go with that. I think like I like that. So we're going to go ahead and fold our card base. And like I said, these are slightly smaller, but it's still, you can mail those with the stamps uh, here in the US. And let's just see, I want that one. And let me get a scratch paper here. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. Where are the scrap papers? Here we go, I'm like, where are the scrap papers? And I want to see if it is too dark. I feel like I have to re-ink lots of my ink pads lately. As I was playing with this particular set, I realized my pure pieces is already too light. This one is also light, so I'll go with that one with just the one. Um, Because like I said, I probably need to be re-inking. But so if it is just like if in your case it's uh, still really juicy, you can stamp off so you don't get it too dark right so i'm gonna go ahead and put that one like somewhere here and i'm just pressing firmly i'm not rocking it there you go see and it looks really nice then i'm gonna go ahead and add this one here and i'll add yeah i think this one pops up really well with that one see yeah, it gives a little bit of that. Yep, so I'm gonna go with that. And then for my sentiment, I'm gonna go with something smaller because I'm gonna have, let's just start putting all these pieces together so I can start visualizing better. Um, Where is the, oh, where is the seal? I know it's somewhere here. Oh my gosh, we're starting to lose things here. Oh, here, here we go. It's like I start pulling all these things out and then I lose everything. Oh my gosh. It always happens. Like, I, I don't think there's a life where I don't lose the adhesive or the home folder or something like that. So anyway, we're going to make sure that it is there. And we're going to go ahead and put it here. Alrighty. Once I have that, I'm going to rank my scissors. And we're going to go ahead and cut out here. We're gonna go ahead and this section, we already know how it looks, so I'm not gonna be changing that part, right? But um, if you're doubting position, then always put it in your card stock first and then see if you like it. So I'm gonna go like so, right? And I have this one like somewhere here, or maybe a little bit lower. So we're gonna go ahead and add more adhesive here. And we're gonna be adding this one. This one is a bit long and that's okay. We can just uh, cut out this section. Okay. And then, see, I'm going to be adding this one somewhere here. And I'm going to be adding this one. Now, for this one, I'm going to be using, I should have cut out this one with the adhesive um, sheets. But I forgot about it. So, we're going to go ahead and use the um, 
what is this? The fine tape glue pen. I want to bring one of these so I can glue this down. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, this one. Oh. And I'm just adding here and there. Mm-hmm. All righty. I get quiet when I am doing this. I feel like I have to concentrate where I'm going. <laughs> All righty. So once I have that, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on and then put a block. Oh, and let it dry. And so let's just think about it. So I have this one here. And I'm going to be adding... I, don't, I haven't glued this one because I don't know if I want it here. And have that one. I feel like it's too empty here. Or if I want to be adding this one, remember? So you can pick and choose. See, like I feel that one looks like too much of the same color. So I think I like the contrast with the Calypso Coral. Yeah, I like that one. I'm going to be adding this one this way. And then have my sentiment here. Now for the sentiment... Um, where are the colors that I thought? I thought about this one, that one. Ooh, I think I like this one just to bring back this color because I'm not seeing it anymore here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stem here. And, ooh, and I forgot this. I forgot about this. Always close it. Now, as far as sentiments, um, there's one that says thank you. The other one says hey there. I like that one. My favorite, I'll be honest. Is the one that says sending all the hugs this is by far my favorite so i'm gonna go with the thank you i think a thank you is something that we can use all the time and we're gonna stamp it and then cut it out and so i'm gonna go ahead and take this one and center it in a way oh let me oh hi hi lenny <laughs> hi Lone. Oh, let me just do this again. I cannot move it. So let's just do this again. There we go. And so, oh, and you know what? I could, I'm gonna leave it that way. Yeah, if I put this one like this, have that one here. Let's just cut out this before I continue just to see how it looks. I used the um, early espresso and we're just gonna go ahead and cut it out. I feel like it is a little bit crooked so I'm just gonna cut it in a angle and then um, gonna center it from this end. There you go. To that and so then have this one like so and something like this and then have this one in an angle so i think i'm gonna go with that i think it looks okay uh where are the scissors here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and stamp not a stamp but um put this one with dimensionals somewhere here i have my dimensionals I'll put three right now. We're gonna have that one right here. Now for this one, let me see. I'm gonna have that one right there. And then this one right here. See that? I'm gonna need to move this one up and have that one like so. And I think I like it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, glue dots on this section because I can cover that with the adhesive. Um, so let's just go with the glue dots if I can find them. Of course. Like I knew I put them here. Like, did you see them? 
do you see them? Because sometimes you all can see it and I don't. And I know I put them here so I was ready. Oh, I put them under the the ink. I was like, I know I had them here. No, here. Alrighty. And the reason I'm doing this is because I can cover the rest, or I'm gonna be putting the rest with that one. So it's gonna cover. So I don't need to use a lot of adhesive there. Like I'm just gonna add it like so. And then this one is gonna go, yeah, like flat, right? I have it like so. And then have this one right here. Now this section will be with these. And then this one will be with one. Um, oh, what did I do? Well, I had a, like um, back in on the other side, I don't know what happened. I don't want to be, I just need to take care of that border and I don't want to be covering the whole designer series paper. There you go. Okay. And then we can do a bow. Now, this suite has the um, white, this is white. Yeah, the white uh, freight ribbon. And I thought it was, um, um, what do I say? When I saw it on the catalog, I thought it was going to be kind of like the pink that we used to have on the uh, holiday catalog. And it's not. This one, to begin with, is, it's whiter. And it's kind of fussy all over. It has a little bit of a... Um, um, it's like shimmery in a way, the whole thing. I don't know if you can see it. And so it's really good if you want it for like um, border, like more decorative. But I don't think I like it for bows. I think it's too bulky. And especially when the card is so little, Having this one with the bow, it will be like too much for this one. So I am opting to go with something smaller and and less heavy, right? Um, so that I can, uh, it, it will fit the card, okay? So much better, I think. So that's why I'm not going with that one. Okay, glad you're liking it. And so I can put this one like right here, if you will. Another one that I... Uh, I have been using also, so I can use that one or I can use the um, Just Jade, which is the other one. Uh, in fact, the card class, it's going to be with this one because I just love Just Jade, you know? And by the way, Just Jade is part of the ink colors that are going to be retiring um, with the next, um, with the release of the next annual catalog. So if, oh, I actually like this one better. I think that it pops up even more because of the label. So I'm going to go with this one. Um, so anyway, so if you like Just Jade, um, make sure you um, get it now as it is still available. Because um, I want to say that coming March, April, the new catalog releases in May, if, I, if I'm correct. And so um, by the time they announce what is the retiring list, it's going to be gone, you know? Usually in colors that are retiring go like really fast. So I would recommend that if you like it, get your inks and the and the ink refills, especially ink refills. If you have the ink pads, make sure you have that um, ink refill right now or get it now while well, still um, available, you know? So, um, so anyway, so this one most likely will be retiring at the end of the catalog because most of the times, and I said most of the times, because last year that was not really the case, but most of the times anything that is with that color that uses the ink color, the retiring ink colors retire as well. Um, like I said, there's a couple of exceptions that we had last year, but normally that's not really the case. Um, and then the other thing that comes in this suite is this cute uh, faux sea glass shapes. And um, and so we're gonna be using this one just to pop some of those. I'm gonna go with the, um, I think this one, oh, actually, maybe that one because I have the, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the mint. Is the, um, let me get that. 
And we're just gonna go our take your pick, which I love to take all the gems, you know? So I'm just gonna go and add like a few of those together. See? And then you just add something else. And I'm just gonna add one more here. Just to add it a little bit. I think that's enough. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this, but look how pretty this looks. You see? Now, the other thing that we're gonna be doing is you can stamp your, um, your envelope. So you don't have a an, an naked envelope. Um, my friend Jan always decorate her um, envelopes. And I just love how they come. I usually mail my cards on clear uh, envelopes because I like that everyone can see it. And so uh, it looks really nice. However, anytime I see her envelope decorate, I just, I just love it. So it's definitely a great one. So I'm going to go ahead and have that one right here and that's it. And that way this one's cannot coordinate. Now you could also add some designer series paper on your, on your flap. And we might do this in another one, but look how beautiful this looks, right? Um, so anyway, so we have that. So let's go with card number two. And for that one, I wanted to play it with the designer series paper. And um, again, you can see I already have my pieces here, right? Of the, um, what is this, the die cuts. And I have this one in Old Olive and the Just just Jade. Again, uh, the label, same label as with the other one. This one is in Calypso Coral. And then the circle uh, with the layering um, circles. And this is in Basic White. I have a piece of the designer series paper. This one is uh, three quarters of an inch by three and one quarter. And then I have two pieces of the designer series paper and this one is three by four and a half. And this one is two and three quarters by four and one quarter, all right? And I wanna put this ones like in a different angle. Now, um, you could be mixing and matching the different patterns and you'll get the same results, believe me. Um, and in fact, whenever I do the car sets, sometimes I end up changing the patterns just because, you know, I only have two sheets per pack or yeah, per pack. And so definitely I need to make sure that I change the design, but I make sure these two coordinate nicely as well. So anyway, just FYI, just in case you see something is different. That's the main reason. We just need to make sure we have enough for everyone. And there's only two sheets of this paper, but we're gonna go ahead and have something like so. In fact, let me just go the other way. I think I like it better. The big thing on this uh, layout is always making sure that all your corners are within. So the angle, right, the angle that you use, uh, make sure that all your all your corners are within the card, okay? That's, uh, that's the main thing. I don't like it. There's I've seen some that go this way. I don't like it that way because this one gets ruined as it is handled. So I like to make sure that everything is in um, inside the frame of your card. So there you go, something like that. Okay, now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the ends with the Taylor Tack Punch. The ruler is a quilter's ruler, uh, Judy. I love that ruler. It's a uh, Omnigrid, Omnigrid, and this is on the quilters. You can get it in Amazon. You can also get it in all the quilting stores and some uh, crafting stores. I'm sure they also have it, especially if they sell fabrics. Usually that's where they have, because this is from the quilting section and they have also squares um, or even thicker rectangles. I love this one because it's just the one by six and it's just amazing. But again, you can go to Amazon and just put Omnigrid ruler, the one inch by six, one by six, and you'll find it there easily. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and add that one. Like I said, I wanted to have those two, so let's just start putting all these pieces. Um, so yeah, I get lots of questions about that ruler, um, and I just love it. I, I think that is great because I can see through, and I can see within, here's the part that I love the most, these lines too, within the, um, the numbers, right? Because every 
gel outline it's a quarter of an inch so you can see exactly like really easy uh let me see yeah i just want to make sure that i have all my pieces here on my corners and especially the one in the background is the one that is the hardest in a way because that's the one that you might have um of shift you, you know like shifted And then you're going to put this one in an opposite angle. Again, just want to make sure that you are paying attention to your angle. <laughs> okay, All right. It's very, um, yeah, it's the perfect um, ruler. So, okay, yeah, I know, right? I, I love it. I'm sure you, you are enjoying it because it makes it so easy for card making. I know it's for quilting, but yes. There you go. This is how I'm gonna go with that one. So I might go this one this way and this one right here. And for the same reason, I'm only gonna be adding like a glue dot here and there because the rest is gonna go like so. And it always it's always fun to have some sort of um what am I saying here? Like um dimension, even though it's not popped up, you can still get some of that. Now if you want, you can also add the um fine tip glue pen. That's that's the other, like the same way I did with the other one. But for this ones that got tucked into the label, I just, I like it with the glue dots. I mean, it's just, oh, it's so much easier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add this one like so. And then have this one. I'm just gonna tuck it in here. I might have another one like here. There you go. And I might just do one more here, just because that one is at the very end. And I can cover anytime I see an area where I can cover, uh, I take the opportunity, you know. There you go. And so now we're going to have this one right here. This one is going to go flat. Well, let's just wait because I want to have that one here, then this one here, and then this one here. Now, this one, I feel like it will be nice just to have the sending all the hugs because there's too much already, too, too, it's too busy already. And I definitely want to be using this one. So let's just use that one. Um, I love the sending all the hugs. And like I said, these cards are super easy. You can use any, um, oh, let me just put this one back, back here so you can see it. Um. You can use this um this layout with any of the designer series papers, you know. So there we go. Sending all the hugs. The only thing that I might add is just a few of these, and I might put those um maybe in the mint again, you know. Let's just keep things with the same. Right? I think the mint will go nice, yeah. But I might just do, let me see, if I do a stamp off, yeah, I think I'm going to be doing a stamping off on these ones. And if I don't like it, then I can do, yeah. I can do it again, right? See? So just a little bit. Oh, yes, definitely. I love it. So, yeah. It was like a good call. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add that one. And we're gonna go ahead and cover this so you can see it kind of traps the labels, right? Not the labels, but the dice, right? And then we're gonna be adding this one right here. So let's just add it like here. And then we're gonna be popping up this one right there.
Okay. And then the same thing. See how beautiful. And you know what? In this one, we can even add again that leaf here. I feel like I love these leaf a lot. This is by far my favorite too. From the leaf. I mean, I like the other one, but I don't know. This one, I feel like it's so great to decorate. You know? There you go. See? Really, really nice. And it kind of goes with this one. Okay. So we're going to go have that one. And we might, you know what, we might use, um, if I can find the cleaning thing, uh, which I don't know what I do with it. Here, I'm like, oh, what did I do? Where's my cleaning? Let's add some of the um, Calypso. I think that that would be a really good one as well. Just to pop the Calypsos on the other one. Oh, or maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe the papaya. Hold on. Let's just think through. Um, so anyway, let's just go with these. Oh. So we're going to go ahead and let me just see how. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's going to go really well with these. I was thinking Calypso. Let me. Oh, I didn't do this. No, I need the. Just need like a little bit here. There you go. Just a little bit just to bring back that um, papaya here. What do you think? It looks really nice, right? Now, oh, you know what? Let's do the envelope the same way. Again, um, like I said, my friend Jen does this all the time. And oh my gosh, love her envelopes. Every single time I get one of these in, in the mail, I just love it. <laughs> so anyway, so here we have that one. And then... We're gonna go ahead and add just a few of these. See, very easy and it looks, like I said, I love this stamp set. I've been playing with it so much. And look at that, right? See? Oh, there's so. And again, you can add some of the um, designer series paper as well on the flap if you want. But even without it, look how beautiful this looks, right? I mean, seriously. Oh, Lori, thank you. Thank you, Kay. All right, so let's go with the next one. Super, super easy, like I said. Here is the next one, right? Now, I have this one because I don't remember which ones I was going to be using. This is Evening Evergreen, and it's a half of an inch. And the length doesn't matter because I'm always cutting them. But this one, because, and honestly, these are just scraps. So this one is like five and one quarter. And then... um. What is this? And this one is also the same. It's like one inch by five and one quarter. How do you get such good images not using a foam? Oh, okay, hold on, no, no, no. So this one, this one, the rubber reds, I don't use the foam mat because they already have a, like some foam here. So you just need to push well, if you will. Now, when I am, let me just bring this because I don't want to be. When I am stamping, I just go firmly. So I do kind of push, I don't rock it, just be careful with the rocking because I would get these shadows, right? Like if I go something like that, then you get that shadow. Uh, but I just press firmly because you have that cushion here, right? Like the red rubber um, stamps. Now, when you're doing the photopolymer, you don't have that cushion, right? So it doesn't cushion. So you have to use the pierce mat for those. For those so that's the way now if you if you use the foam mat i mean you could the only problem is that a lot of times you end up having these edges as well so you cannot push as as much if you will if you have a foam mat underneath because then you're going to have the whole thing oh my goodness but you're going to love it like i said you're going to love it <laughs> this whole set is just really good now I, like i said the dice just helps you embellish and you can see like I went crazy with all the dice, right? Like I die cut lots of them and I'm just playing with them. So this one is in the, um, what is this? The old olive. And then this one is the pale papaya, right? And then I have three different patterns. And on this one, you can pick and choose whichever. That's it. Um, it's really great. And what I'm noticing here <laughs> is that clearly I love this one because I've been using here and here and also on this one. And I think that it's also because I have most of my scraps from there because I'm using that pattern a lot in some of my other uh, cards. 
but I just thought like, oh, that's interesting. I'm using it everywhere. So anyway, so, um, but again, this paper bag has so many, um, uh, patterns that you can mix and match the different mix and match the different patterns and you can see they look really nice and like I said um, this one's one side has a more um, BC pattern right and the other one is just like monochromatic or two colors like on this one right see that so just play with it and um, I want that one and then I want this one so yeah so play with it and you'll see you're gonna love it um, so anyway, so for this one, I wanted to have that one like you saw it here, right? Like something like that. And then have this one like these. And I was thinking about putting the sentiment. Now I am realizing I have a larger area on this one, so I could use the uh, birthday, right? There was one set, one set, one um, wart. You can see here I mounted everything that says birthdays. So I could use the birthdays on this one. I think I'm gonna go with that one. I thought it was too big for this. I mean, you could use it also for that side, but if I am doing the horizontal or landscape, I could use this one easier. So I'm gonna go with that one. And um, I could use, let's see, what do I have here? I'm gonna go with the mint, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, Cause I think that if I use that one, and this is why I have all these pieces, right? So if I use this one, you're gonna kind of lose it with that. So this one kind of contrasts well with that. And then I'm gonna be using maybe um, this one. I could use that one. Yeah, it will look nice here. Yep, and it kind of goes with that one. So I'm gonna go with that. Not with this one, just because I have the pale papaya. So see, I kind of think sometimes too much, but I think those will be good. And then for this one, I might use like the words, right? Or the hearts, it's not hearts, it's leaves, but I call them hearts. They have kind of a heart shape. Yeah, so I might go that way, let's see. Um, let's see, I think that that's the way we're gonna be going here. And let me mount this one. Um, Cause that was the whole thing. I had not decided on um, where to put the sentiments or which one to use. Oh, you know what I realized on this one? We didn't use any bows, we could use a bow. Let's see, do I want, oh. Something fall off here, one of my blends. This one, it kind of get lost, right? So like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be using that one. Maybe we use this one. Although I don't know that it needs. Oh, and we also forgot the gems. What about that? You guys didn't say anything about it. You just let me finish. <laughs> like what up with that? All right, let's see, do we want it? Or is it too busy? I don't know. I don't think I like it because it kind of loses those things. You know, like I, I don't see this anymore. What do you think? Bow or no bow? I mean, it does look nice. I might go with the bow. I can't resist. I like the bows. It kind of is busy, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make it smaller. No bow. So, okay, so I have one person saying no bow. How about, how about someone? No bow, okay, no bow. All right, forget about the bow then. Let's just then add some gems. How about that? Should we add some gems? Because we didn't add anything. Like, what happened here? Okay. I'm going to go again with... Oh. I'm going to go... Yes, gems, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. The gems always make a difference, you know? And then I'll put... There you go. See? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it that way. I don't think it needs that many. <laughs> yeah, let's just put some gems. Yeah. No bow. All right, we'll go without the bow. We'll let it go. Okay, we go with this one. Ooh, it's kind of tight. Okay, what about that one? Is this the same? Okay, I have a little bit more room here. You can see I'm only using my, um, my scraps. I have a little back with the scraps and I just go on that um on that um what am I saying here from that back and then grab all the little papers and that's how I get my sentiments that's why I always say like the measurement doesn't matter because I'm just gonna cut it out to whatever I need <laughs> so there you go I used again the oh I'm gonna put it back here I'm gonna use again the um 
the early espresso. I love early espresso for the... Um, what am I saying here? Hold on. For all the um, sentiments, I feel like it looks really nice. Now, think about these. I have this one. Yeah, I think this one. We'll see. If I don't like it, then we can switch it. I'll put the hearts with this color. Yes, and I'll put this one. Do we want that one? Yes, probably, but which color do I use? I'm now debating. Okay, do I want that one? Or the mint? Let's go with mint. I'm gonna go with main for these, and then the little hearts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda, just to add a little bit of kinda texture, you know, to your, to your um, paper, or pattern, I should say. And this one, I'm doing it more subtle, just because I want this one to pop up more, right? But I do want to have some color. I might do like one here. Nah, it doesn't really do anything, but that's okay. I'll leave it that way. And let's just cut this. So I'm gonna go with this and have that one. Yeah, it kind of goes nice because we're gonna be using the, did we say this one? Did we say, well, Olivia, we say, oh, well, if, and so now we're gonna go ahead and cut this one. And I'm gonna put it here. Okay, so I have that one. And then I'm gonna cut out somewhere here. Oh, well. I feel like I can cut a little bit more here. And then on this side, just to make it three quarter of an inch. Now I would do one inch on that one and then a stamp and then cut it out, you know, because I think it's easier to do that rather than stamp it with at, uh, what is this at three quarters of an inch? It's just because it's too tight that way. Right. So, um, on your kits, you'll get the, the one inch and then just cut it out. Oh yes, look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks really nice, so yes. So that was a good call. And I'm gonna put this one here. And then have a little banner in here, yes. I think that, well, let's see. Let's see. Do I want, no, no banner in, because yeah, no banner in. No banner in. So we're gonna go ahead and add this one. Okay, so. Okay, so. There you go, see? Really nice. And I still have another piece for another sentiment. I might cut a little bit here, you know? It kind of bugs me that it is too, but now I can just go with this one. So I might have gone with the other one and that was okay. You know, I'm gonna cut it from here so it's straight. And I might just cut a little bit more. There you go. There you go. I'm just trying to make less space on both ends, right? So that was okay. All right, so I think it looks nice. So let's just picture it just to see if we like it or or we can change it still. So like I said, always lay your pieces, you know, because you never know. You never know if you like it differently. So I'll have that one like so. I'll have this one here. I probably need to move this one up so you can see it. And then have this one here. Look at that. I mean, come on. It looks really nice. I like this one. It looks happy, actually. So I think it went great with the happy birthday. Okay, so let's just go ahead. So I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and put steel here. Um, bone folder. Did I say how big these were? I don't, I don't remember. Okay, so these are two by 
three, yes. And you need three different patterns, okay? Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and have Gonna go ahead and have this one. I need to have a visual. I'm gonna put this one more towards here. There you go. Okay, like somewhere here. I just need a visual of where I need to be gluing. I'm a visual person, not so much into the measurements when it comes to cart making, you know. So I always need to see like, where do I need to be? See, and then this one will go like somewhere this way. Yeah, these pieces, both, uh, all three of them are um, two by three. Yeah, I don't think I have said that. And I'm also kind of making them in an angle as well. Let me see how to not, I think it has to be like different angles. There you go. And then I'm gonna be adding this one to kind of the top. And again, I'm just gonna be using glue dots on those because I'm gonna have that big label right here. And the same for this one. This one has really great areas for glue dots. So you don't have to go with a, uh, fine tip glue, um, glue tip. Where are the glue dots? Oh, here. I'm like, where are the glue dots? Like, they're going. They're moving. Um, and, um, and again, you could also use the adhesive sheets, which I should have gone or done that, but I'm always forgetting. And the whole thing is that I'm always playing like, okay, let's just die cut and then go from there. And so by the time I am playing with them, I already forgot the glue dot. Oh. Let's do this differently because I want to make sure. There you go. There you go. And then I'm, I'll have this one like this, you know? Yes. And I'll have that one right here. Yeah. So you'll see it's still there. And like I said, on this one, you just, there's really great areas for you to be hiding those glue dots. So just add them. Oh, thank you, Pat. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're just gonna go ahead and add this one right there. I feel like I need one here, you know? Let me see, how does this one goes? You know, it will take care of itself. It will take care of itself. So let's just go ahead and add this one. You just wanna make sure we kinda cover that section. Yep, that way we're stuck. We're gonna have this one right here, and then we're gonna have this one like right here. See, it always works out. It always works out. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and use dimensionals. Where are the dimensionals? Huh? Oh my gosh! Like, you know they're here because we've been playing with them this whole time. So, where did I put them? Oh, here. It's like it, they're always like under the ink pads or whatever. Like, oh. Like they always disappear. And like they're always in front of me. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this one right here. How beautiful, right? Like the paper there. And then we're gonna be adding this one right here. Now this section will go with the adhesive. Oh, no, I, I want it this way. And then this one will the, um, what is this? The dimensionals. Okay. 
Oh, thank you, Eleanor. You're so nice. I'm glad you're enjoying the cars. Hi, Lorraine. All right, we're going to go ahead and add this one here. Okay. And then we're going to be adding um, some gems. Don't forget. I don't know that I can do the bow. Let's see. Where's the bow? We did a bow a minute ago. I don't know that it adds much. I'm going to go without the... Well, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I do like it. Ooh, what about the um, the other one? The papaya one. This one might go better this time. No, I don't think so. Okay, what do you think about the bow? Bow or no bow again? What do you think? Definitely gems. The gems, yes. The gems is a yes. The bow, I don't know. I'm debating it. No bow. Okay, no bow. Yeah, I think so. I think it looks nice without the bow. So, no bow. No bow for this one, but yes on the gems. Okay, we cannot go out without two things. Okay, uh, where is the take your pick thing? Here, okay. And for this one, I'm going to go with the um, pure pizzazz. So I'm going to go and sprinkle mainly on this section. Maybe one of the big ones here. That way it kind of goes well and bring some of that green on this end. And let's just do also the envelope. How about that? Since I have all the stamps here, if I can find the, oh, here, like if I can find this one. And you know what? I'm going to go again with the same, although this time I'm going to do the leaf in, in pure pizzazz. How about that? Instead of the mint, mainly because this one is on old olive, right? I just love this um, this whole set, I'm telling you. You are going to love it. All right, so we're going to go with this one. And... All righty. Oh, I didn't stamp well. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't press press hard, like I said, um, but that's okay. It will be okay. It still looks really nice. There you go. And I'm gonna be putting it like right there. <laughs> Let's see if I catch it. Yeah, there you go. See, no one knows. <laughs> it was intended to be that way. Oh, here we go. So now um, you have this one. Oh. And you see that? And it kind of goes really well, don't you think? And again, it goes with the the greens there. So anyway, so here we go. Let me just bring the other car. So if you're just... Oh, before I do that, let me just show you a few samples that I have with this set. Hold on. So give me a second. Some are from swaps I've gotten. So let's just go over those for a second here. So like I said, I share with you or I show you this one. This is um, this is one of the ones that I just made this week before I show all the other cards. And then I have, this is another one that um, I made. And I just love, now here's the interesting thing. This is the white. So you see how you have the whites. These are more like clear mate, you know, or matte. I don't know, matte, is that how you call matte mate? I don't know, I think it's matte. I might be wrong. You tell me. <laughs> so anyway, but they kind of look, they kind of take the color from the background. So you, you only see the, or feel the dimension and kind of see something, but they don't pop up like white. I thought it was going to be white and they're not. They're more like clear. This one I share also at the beginning where you can uh, do your background. I just love that. And now these ones were swaps. This one didn't have a name, but look how they did it. And they used the pale papaya. See, like the pale papaya, it's a good option. Then this one, look at how easy this one is. 
I mean, seriously. They did stamp all the background with the little leaves that looks like hearts. And you can just make a tone on tone uh, paper, right? And just make the designer series paper do the work, really. And then we have this one, also very simple yet really nice. I just love the sentiments. I just love them. But um, I love um, how easy just put a piece of the designer series paper stamp. I would probably add like two more uh, of the either of these ones or this one. I call these ones always like fillers so that you have something else if you don't want to have that much white space. But to me, this one looks great. Now, this one is from Kim Allen. And like I said, I just love it. And she used... Um, some um what is it, like a baker's twins on that one who's this one this one is from oh dawn's creative chalet but doesn't have her name so it's dawn's but i don't know i don't know the last name so anyway these were uh from swaps and like i said just love them so anyway let's just put all the cards and then you tell me which one is your favorite so this one was number three this one was number two where's my and it was with this and look at how beautiful this looks and then this one was number one i'm gonna take the envelopes out you know i think they are kind of busy right or maybe i just put the one <laughs> so you can see it but anyway um let me know which one is your favorite i think for me is the third one i think it's just too happy and i loved the combination of the border with the sentiment. So for me, I think it's going to be that one. Although this too looks really nice. And like I said, just, just die cut several of the pieces and then just play with the different layouts on the paper. I mean, they go really well. Oh, Doris, you like number one. Uh, Joanne, you like three. Pat also likes three. I like three. I think three is my favorite too. Um, let's see who else. The, em the envelopes, yeah, oh my gosh, those envelopes. Absolutely, and like I said, it is part of the note cards and you get um, 20 of them, right? Um, the note cards and the envelopes, and they're $7, so I think it's a great deal. The third, the third, yeah, I think several of you are with me with the third. There's the couple that says the number two. Yeah, that one also looks really nice. <laughs> so anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Again, don't forget um, to order with me. When you order with me, $35 or more, you'll get the card kit to make these cards. And um, remember, this is celebration. So if you're placing an order that is 35, you might as well bump it up to 50 just to make sure you get one of the free items from celebration. And also, if you're going to be placing an order that is like $100 or more, maybe you want to consider getting the starter kit mainly because again, you end up saving a lot. Um, you get the starter kit, you pick $125 worth of products, you only pay $99 plus tax, there's no cheaping, and you get an additional two stamp sets on top of that. So definitely it's a great time to join our amazing team. We have so much fun in our team. And, um, and, and, and then all your subsequent orders are at least 20% off. So Definitely. If you have any questions about that story kit, please email me at Ali at Creating with Ali. I would like to talk to you to uh, answer any of your questions. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really enjoy it and I appreciate it. So I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye for now.